Hey, I thought I would do a review here on um, the first issue of Game Fan Magazine. I believe this is the first time I've owned the first issue. It's very rare. Um, from 1992. I think the story is uh, I read the first issue in Southern California. They printed not very many and drove around and uh, had them in the trunk of the car and they were just giving out the magazines to stores and stuff. And I guess they were selling some too, but they were just trying to get started. And I'm pretty sure this was only released in Southern California when it first came out, the first issue. So it's rare, very rare. It's worth about $100 or so. <clears throat> That's probably the best video game magazine of all time, Game Fan. So I thought I'd, it's not very big, so I thought I'd. I haven't even looked through it myself, I just got it recently. So I thought I would do a little overview and look through it and talk about what's in it. Not many people would get to own this that are fans of video games and gaming magazines from the 1990s. So you open it up and uh, you get a uh, Turbo Duo advertisement, which is a very rare system. <laughs> So we have a very rare magazine and a very rare system to start with here. Um, it's a TurboGrafx-16 and CD player in one. These sell for about three to five hundred dollars on eBay, I think, something like that. So it's pretty neat. Although I was never a big fan of <clears throat> TurboGrafx. Yeah. I was just a kid in the early 90s. I couldn't afford it. It was expensive. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's in very nice condition, this magazine. So, hey, welcome to the first issue. Yada yada yada. Yeah, pretty cool. Very first issue. We we'll get some reviews right off the bat here. Super Star Wars. And more reviews. I'm not seeing anything that I'm a huge fan of. Um, in 1992, I was <clears throat> I wasn't a hardcore gamer yet. <clears throat> I had a uh, I had a Sega Genesis and Sonic the Hedgehog. I wasn't, I was still, I was only, in 1992, I was 11 years old, so, I was not totally into gaming yet, I was still into sports, uh, here we have an interview with the uh, Sega guy um, involved with Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, interview the cheat section. Sega Genesis section. Yeah, at this time I only had like maybe five Sega Genesis games in 1992. Uh, I had a Nintendo NES before. Uh, yeah, my family's first system was a NES in 1989, Christmas. So. I didn't really get into video game magazines until like 1993 or maybe even 1994, more so 1994. <clears throat> so this stuff is not, this is like uh, the peak of the 16-bit era kind of, well maybe not the peak but um, so. 
so most of this stuff I never experienced. Most of these games I didn't buy or play back in the early 90s. So I don't have a lot of nostalgia for this stuff, although I'm sure a lot of you do. I like for the Predator movies. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting over being sick. I like the Alien movies also. <clears throat> Jeez. Um, yeah. So very. This magazine's known for its thick, high-quality paper and high-quality screenshots and layouts. Very artistic magazine. Uh, you could just tell these guys were tr truly fans of video games, whereas opposed to some of the other gaming magazines, was more business-oriented, like EGM or GamePro. They liked video games, but you could tell they were just more in it for having a job writing for a magazine, you know, whereas these guys were true blue game fan guys were true hardcore gamer type guys. You could tell their passion for video games. Yep. So, Magical Troll. Never heard of that. All these, yeah, see, I was just a kid back then. Not knowing much about any any of this stuff. <coughs> they were, oh, I was a big fan of Sonic too, though. I was a huge fan of Sonic the Hedgehog series on Genesis. I got Sonic 2 shortly after it came out. That's, a, uh, that's probably the best Sonic game on Genesis, actually. I think it's the biggest. Yeah, that's an awesome game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is great stuff. A really awesome game. Planet Super Nintendo. Now, see, I picked a Genesis over Super Nintendo in 1991. I, I don't know if it was 91 or 92 I got a Genesis. I can't remember. But at that time, the Super Nintendo was more expensive than the Genesis, and the Genesis had Sonic the Hedgehog. So, as a kid, the Genesis seemed cool and new. So I didn't actually get a Super Nintendo until 1996. <laughs> but I like a lot of Super Nintendo games too. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Actually today, today's Friday, today's the day the, the new Star Wars movie comes out. I might go see it in the theaters, but I haven't been in the movie theaters. I think, in, you know, I think the last movie I saw in the movie theaters was probably the last new Star Wars 10 years ago. In 2005, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the last time I've been to the movie theaters. <laughs> so, and uh, so we're on page 34, and there's not many pages left. It's not a very big magazine to start with in the first issue, but. A very collectible Double Dragon out of this world, Soul Blazer. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. I'm a I like F1 racing. A turbo graphics section. Neo Geo. <coughs> I played baseball on teams growing up as a kid through high school. So I like baseball games usually, some of them. <coughs> wow. Okay, almost done here. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing a lot of familiar stuff from later issues of Game Fan. I'm very familiar with Game Fan. I've bought and collected it since the early '90s, but I've never had 
the first two issues or so, I guess, especially the first issue, very rare. So, but this you know, other stuff, they've had that throughout their run and throughout the mid '90s, just talking about n video game news and stuff. <clears throat> And we're to the end already. <laughs> 54 pages. And uh, the graveyard's another feature they had in all their magazines. Uh, yep. And so, schedule. Oh, that's release dates for games, I guess. Coming in the next issue of Game Fan. Subscription was twenty five bucks for twelve issues. And that's the end. The black magazines always show wear roll, but this magazine magazine's in great condition for what it is. So that's it. Wow, eleven minutes. The very rare first issue of Game Fan right here. With Mario and Sonic. Bonk. And this was their uh, mascot. The Monitor Game Fan mascot. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching.